Hey yo, Phantom DC here, going to be reacting to Legion Season 3, Episode 7, the penultimate episode of the final season of Legion. So let's get to reacting. Ticket. We're gonna finally see what Charles saw when he first witnessed the Shadow King. I hope that's a magic trick and he didn't just kill an animal on stage. Whoa, it's Charles? Demon with yellow eyes. Sorry, are you here for me? You actually Sir, had a picture of him? An Anna. Is it normal to feel dizzy? <laughs> Why do they feel dizzy? Like they went back more than 10 years before. What is doing What is doing What is doing to Resolution. I've got the power to move through time, but my body's not strong enough. Oh, and they got separated. Uh, oh, the Time Eater. Ah, uh, yes, the Shadow King. He probably has to team up with them. Like, whose kids are these? I'm Omal Farouk, and this is Aviva. I would expect him to wear like the same clothing we Jeez. see him wear in present time. Oh, tell me, how did you like your portrait? I made it myself. <laughs> Demon's dinner time. So this is how he knew about them? Ah, oh, so this is where they go back in time to? So, David's here. But you see them, yeah? I'm not crazy. Oh, she can yeah, see them. I made a mistake. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, my beautiful boy, my David. Ah, she just realized who that baby see? becomes. She might as well just warn her oh, why she's here. They were orphans. Adrift. When I became the king of the underworld, my... I opened my palace to them. I mean, how could I not? It's very noble of you. <laughs> it is. A vast other dimensional realm, unbound by anything but one's imagination. The astral plane. The astral plane. Yes. Anything you can imagine, you can make it real. Interesting how he's the one that teaches Charles this. Mon vrai. What a privilege it is to see a BC. A lot of them humans probably felt the same way. They call me the Shadow King. No. You should never have come. What? I think Shadow Farouk took this guy's palace. What is his propaganda? Lies. Behold the king of lies. That was his son. I'm starting to think that monkey was actually human, the actual ruler of this place, and he just turned him into a monkey. Haha! -ha, called it! And that's your son. Uh, shows him what is going to become of David. Listen to me. Tomorrow he attacks and you fight Farouk in the astral plane, your power against his, and you think you win. But all that happens is you kick him out of his body and into mine. So, so we leave. Now yeah, we go home. Tell you're him what she needs to know. Like you. 
but this time you have the advantage. I do. You have me. Oh. Hopefully this works. And we're not going to kill this whatever baby David, which would be so easy. Physically, not morally. Exactly. Because why? It's like the Hitler thing. You can't go back and kill baby Hitler. It's not his fault. Adult David? We can't save him. He's too far gone. But a baby? This baby? Him we can save. Exactly. Stop Farouk from possessing him. Freaking demons are all over the place. David. No friend. We were yeah. stationed here in Morocco during the war and more than a friend. Stick around. And when you heard I was visiting, what can I say? I'll have a free meal. He's trying to probe his mind, but he's just getting the music. I love how they brought back this song. You should never have come. Ah, oh, Switch. I was wondering whose teeth was that. She be knocking David, on death's go? door. Killing Farouk, a plan. Should have been honest with your dad. I showed you. Stop it! Stop it! Is that his other personalities? David, wake up! Daddy. Wake up! Daddy? Jim. <laughs> We're talking about mental illness. Mm -hmm. Such a clinical name for something so wrong. Like an animal with its heart on the outside. It's so odd, I'd never thought of that. It's hereditary what's wrong with him. Why he's like this. Yep. We all have our role to play in this war. We're fighting good against evil. There is no good stronger than mother's love. You understand? Give me that good message. I think so. Is she now noticing no. that they're here? No. What? Time, I heard something. Yeah, you hear them, don't you? <laughs> Better take out that sword. Carry. Carry. Come in. What the hell is it doing? Jam's gonna take baby David. Oh! Sid with a save! This is like dad's gonna come to save her? Can you make them stop screaming? Who's wait, they? Wait, you, you can talk. Yo. That's messed up. Look at this Farouk. He... He's a monster. He is. The only way to stop him is to kill him. Oh, the fruit of oh, the press is gonna speak to himself. Interesting. I was worried about this throughout the whole episode. Not gonna lie, I enjoyed this episode more than previous week's episode, but it's just good that we actually see the actor playing Charles Xavier for a second time this season. From the looks of it, one more time for the series finale. Because when I first heard that he was going to come on the show, the character of Charles Xavier, I thought it was going to be like one episode. Then like one of my friends reminded me, like, no, in the trailer or a preview that they show like David and freaking Charles like talking to each other. And we didn't see that within like episode three, I believe it was. So I'm like, okay, we're going to see more of him and how. Not just two, but three episodes. And he's going to pretty much, you know, team up with his dad to defeat 
Farouk, the Shadow King. And he even got like more like origin story, you know, of the Shadow King and you know Charles like first meeting there. So like, oh, I seeked you out, or was it really him who seeked out freaking Charles? So the point where even like within the whole like show, like the Shadow Show, and he was like, oh, they called me the Shadow King. And you see Prima David like was appearing and like faded in and out. And he's like, oh, he's the King of Lies. So I'm shocked that they use that term, the King of Lies. I thought they were going to go for maybe like the Prince of Lies. Try to kind of compare him to like Satan. Because I know they call Satan the Prince of Lies as well. But in here they call him like freaking Shadow King, the King of freaking Lies. Because he is a Shadow King. But damn, at one point I kind of like, you know, predicted, okay, I'm guessing the monkey is possibly like the ruler within like the freaking shadow show what they were showing but later on i did not expect that the kids that were there like the i'm guessing it was like what his subjects were like freaking in the freaking minds of the children like seriously i thought they were gonna like spin it to the point that farouk was actually a good guy because seeing him like adopting the kids and stuff but it was all just a show like he said they call me the shadow king <laughs> like oh oh my gosh this damn show i love it but interesting enough you have david you know during the time in the past where charles meets farouk for the first time and then you have sid the two carries you know also in the past but at the time where again where freaking charles is in morocco but he's with his mom and she learns that oh like this baby here is actually david she's like yo maybe you just have to say like baby david so if the plan fails with you know farouk you know fighting you know david and his pops and somehow they think that they destroyed Farouk, but they don't, and he tries to go and, you know, inhabit the body of David. Maybe it's going to be Sid and the two carries that are actually going to prevent it, which will actually be good. So on two fronts, they go back and pretty much stop the whole freaking Shadow King thing. And maybe there we can pretty much save the world don't, or prevent it from, you know, becoming like the end of times, as, you know, as that future Sid put it, that David was going to pretty much be the cause of it. But at the same time, Switch seems to be knocking on Death's door. And it's interesting enough, she says, Daddy, come save me. So it's like, uh, does your father also know how to time travel or something? Because how is he just going to appear in the past and i wouldn't be surprising because in the previous episodes we always hear someone like telling her the rules of time travel so it would make sense that that's actually your father and he knows how to time travel you know but ah uh, just seeing like how those like teeth were falling at one point i thought they were gonna like transition to like farouk or something but then no it was like switched but hopefully she's gonna be okay but hell we still got those time demons and freaking the farouk from the present teamed up with them and now at near the end of the episode like throughout the episode i'm saying to myself yo please don't meet your <laughs> freaking past self and he does and uh who knows because every time when people time travel and they meet their past self is you like more ramifications with time travel but maybe with this show it wouldn't be that much but hell these freaking demons, the time eaters, man. <laughs> They're probably going stronger because he's even meeting his past self. Like, oh, this is going to be crazy. I'm curious how it all will end. Next week will be the finale. I've been freaking watching this show for pretty much almost three years now. Or, or is it truly three years or so? I don't know. I forgot to like, check the date. But, oh, I'm enjoying it. I cannot wait for it to end like or dislike the video comment below what you guys thought of the episode hey if you're new please subscribe i am phantom d singing why why freaking fx beta like had to stop working like i had to watch this freaking episode like literally almost like two or three hours like later but i am phantom d singing i am signing off